Hi lads, how are we all doing today? And I'm doing the final reveal of the Italieri LAV, which is Light Armoured Vehicle, 25 Piranha. Um, it was a nice kit, it was given to me by my good friend Simon Kemp, who thought it was going to be a crap model and uh, decided to pass it on to John, uh, see what John can do with it. And I enjoyed it, I really, really did. Um, I had no fit issues with it, uh, everything went swimmingly. Absolutely swimmingly, and it was a, a, a very, very enjoyable uh, kit to build. Yeah, I'd recommend it to anybody. I really would. I really would. Um, and uh, let's have a look at it. So I'll just swing this down a bit. See, look. Yeah. Right, there we go. And I've given it a little base and everything. So this thing is going to spring up again, aren't you? But it doesn't like. It doesn't like being sort of told where to go. So there we go. We leave it at that, and we can we can we can wiggle it around and have a look at it. So I'm giving it a very very simple base, like I said I was going to do. Uh, it's the usual uh, pawn shop blackboard. I put a bit of um, this stuff, bit of uh, oh, well done, don't break it up again already. Bit of foam board onto the base. And when I'm gluing it onto the base, a uh, little tip for you if you're ever gluing. Um, foam board onto a base don't use um, Yoohoo it dis basically disintegrated the thing but it left a pile of little potholes and God knows what else so I had one big one here so I decided to uh, put some water effects into that and the others then I just filled with uh, gravel and stuff like that um, if you can see them there around hold on just, just take this off John take this off it's not that it's not glued down or anything like that so that's that. That's basically the base, basically base based, and as you can see, it kind of left a couple of divots and things, which which turned out, you know, happy accident as they call it. Um, it worked out nice. Those water effects there, same look, glistening water, very very nice, very very nice indeed. Um, how that came out? That's uh, pound shop stuff again. Oh, and how you get it? Uh, if I can find one here, I have one here that I haven't used yet. There we go, that's what it looks like. It comes in a little, little sort of a epoxy syringe. And it's a rapid epoxy syringe adhesive. All right? That's what it's sold as. But it's basically clear um, resin. Takes a little while to dry, even at that now. That, that still a bit, well done John, stick your finger right into the middle of it. Still a little bit sticky, but it does the job. It takes a while to dry, but it does the job. Um, Enough about the base anyway, let's get on to this uh, this beautiful little little kit here, the uh, Lev 25 Piranha. Um, I've given it a NATO camouflage and uh, a dust coating. And for the dust coating I used uh, two different things. I've given it a dusting with um, pastels, you know, chalk pastels scraped off a bit of uh, sandy coloured pastels, a bit of grey and things like that and I made up a bit of a dust and I just you know, used a nice light brush and brushed it onto it and then I gave it an over spray of buff not in the buff, I wasn't in the buff when I sprayed it, I did have my underpants on I gave it an over spray of uh, to me a buff paint and you know, with the the airbrush a good distance away and just give it an over spray and it gives it a nice light dust coating um, the kit itself, like I said, I had no fit issues with it whatsoever. Really, really was an enjoyable kit to make. Um, it comes with a minimal interior in the back, as you can see, um, which is painted up quite nicely. From as far as I'm concerned, I'm happy with it. And 
give it the uh, aerials from the guitar string aerials. Uh, what else did I do? With it? I added a bit of extra storage that I had there in the um, in the stash. <laughs> the stash, my pair, the spare part stash, as I call it. A uh, little bit of coil wire, a spare tire. Um, you know, just little bits and pieces that you find around that you can use for them. So they're, they're, they come in, they all come in handy. Never throw the things like that away. Um, so that's basically it, lads. There's nothing more I can say about it. Uh, the proof of the pudding is in the eating, as they say. So um, there she is, and I am chuffed to bits with how that came out. And that's going to be a lovely little addition to my uh, to my cabinet. Uh, I was really, really impressed with um, with the kit, uh, fit wise and everything else. I had no fit issues, not a single, single issue with this. Uh, so therefore, it was it was uh, as good as a Tamiya kit for that. It was kind of a shake and bake one. Then again, there isn't really that much detail on it, if you know what I mean. It, it is quite basic on its details. A lot of the things were already uh, pre-installed, shall we say. You know, you didn't have to go putting in these hatches. They were already on it and things. So, uh, you know, these hatches here were already already put on. So you just had to put on a couple of little handles and, and things. That's about it. Um, but overall, like I said, for uh, quite a simple kit, it was very, very good and very, very enjoyable. That's the kit. It's the Gulf War 25th Anniversary Edition 1. And... Um, like I said, it was enjoyable, and uh, we leave it at that. Even Mr. Froggy likes it, don't you, Mr. Froggy? Yes, I do. I, I, I promise I won't do that again. Anyway, lads, we leave it at that. Um, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe, and don't forget to stick an old comment in the box if you want to. You know, tell me what you think of it, uh, good, bad, or indifferent. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, like I said, to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. If you're new to me. And um, don't forget, yeah, give it the old thumbs up if you like it. Give the old thumbs up, the, the like, hit the like button. And uh, don't forget, go out and buy yourself a kit. Build it and enjoy it. And I'll catch you on the next one, lads. Stay safe. This is John, signing off.